Hi everyone, this is Sanan from Car Inspected and today we're taking a look at uh, this 2015 Audi S5. We're at uh, Group Park Avenue, uh, Certified Plus on Tashiro in Brossard, just south of Montreal. That's a pre-purchase inspection. Start with a walk around. The shine is very, very good. There was some paint repair done on the car. I don't think it's going to be visible from the video. It's really hard to see it. Um, it was actually the rear bumper. And the rear quarter panel right here. This is just dirt, by the way. And then the door had uh, was used as a blend panel or uh, just some clear coat on the door. Very slight variation in paint thickness. And then back to the quarter panel in the front, there is no, uh, the, the paint is original here and here. And on the uh, passenger side, the paint is original all across. All right. We have yet to take the car for a test drive, but we've started the engine. We've done a computer scan on the uh, engine, airbag, and ABS system, and we've gone through a status uh, uh, update for um, for the computer to see if any codes have been deleted recently the rotors are they've they've been used I recommend changing the rotors the next time the brake pads are to be replaced so uh, these the front pads have uh, approximately 50% remaining the tires were made in 11th week 2015 these are Dunlop, they're the uh, Sport Max 225-35ZR19 in the front, 6 30 seconds uh, tread depth remaining in the front, and 5 30 seconds tread depth remaining in the back. Same tires, same week, and uh, year of manufacture. But they are 255, 35, or 19 in the rear. Oh, they are 255, 35, that are 19 in the front. I'm sorry. Some curb rash here on the uh, on the rims. We've taken a lot of pictures of each rim and. Uh, each rotor and each brake pad thickness, the outside brake pad th thickness. That's not a scratch, it seems to be a, a spider web line. Front passenger tires in uh, rim is in good condition rear passenger as well so it's uh, rear driver two a little imperfections it's just the front driver that's had the most uh, visible imperfections interior A couple of comments on the interior. Bolsters are good. There's no damage here. Neither on the inside. A little imperfection here. Some scratches from jeans um, here. These are just uh, stains that are removable. There's a little scratch here. Production date is April. 
Seats are functional. A little scratch in the back here. And an imperfection here. That's, um, it seems like it's a manufacturing imperfection. Now, if you can see the line, that line protrudes. Floor mats are original. It's damage to the armrest cover. Seems like it's a burn damage. Burn or tear. Looks like a burn though. Stitching. Steering wheel. Very good condition. Small blemishes. Small scratches. But overall, very good. Pedals. Onboard diagnostic sport. Six speed manual. Bang and Olsen uh, stereo system. You can see it. Trunk, very clean. Hardly ever used, actually. Spare tire, again, we've taken a lot of pictures of the spare tire and what's under the uh, spare tire repair kit and the battery storage area. The reason why I'm taking uh, uh, photos or a video of this area is because of the um, declared rear damage. And uh, this was done according to specifications, so there is a lot of anti uh, corrosion or anti-rust that's been uh, sprayed in that area to prevent rusting that's usually done after uh, after a repair to a panel so that panel was repaired but the weld marks have not been altered in comparison with this side usually if this panel was replaced or was cut and removed then you would see the weld here altered and in this case it's not little imperfection here the lock uh, to the wheels is here little scratches here backup camera lights Premium unleaded fuel only. Passenger side. And passenger seat. I've taken pictures uh, with the seats folded in the back and the cup holder in the center and the storage area as well. The manuals are there, some documents from the previous owner as well. Under the hood, the hood is original. No altercations to the uh, bolts that hold the fenders, which means that they've never been removed.
fan belts, uh, both accessory belts are good. They're in good working order. They were both original. Car has been parked for a while, so the inside of the engine is good. We've done an oil quality test. It did pass, but we still recommend changing the oil because the car has been parked for a while. We did a coolant freezing temperature test. The coolant is near the minimum mark. I would recommend topping that up. Brake fluid humidity content it was a pass. It was at uh, 1%, I believe. The uh, battery axis. The batteries in the trunk, so they have an access port in the front. This is leftover rust proofing, anti corrosion here and here. Both sides are very, very clean. I don't see any scratches on the bolts that hold uh, the top end together or the valve cover gasket. All right, now we're uh, gonna go ahead and start the engine. We only have access to one key, but we're gonna verify if there are two keys that come with the car. Put on the clutch, neutral, mileage 48,471. This is before the test drive. Air conditioning is working. Radio stations. Navigation. Telephone. We're going to be connecting a phone. To verify the functionalities. Brake is working or parking brake is working. Let's go to radio. Just uh, controlling the volume to see if the volume is working. So I turned on both the front and the rear fog lights. Just for testing purposes. Mirrors. Driver mirror.
both windows functional. This is uh, the blind spot assist. I'm gonna keep the window open slightly just in case. You can see the wear on the tire is even on the inside and on the outside. Also, see the undercarriage is in good condition, it's clean. Um, all covers are there, the exhaust pipes are clean as well. Usually, they would start to have some surface rust on them by a couple of years, but in this case, there is hardly any. Backup sensors, exhaust in the rear. Just needs some attention, needs some cleaning. Again, tire wear on the passenger front. The air conditioning is working. Both fans are on, as they should be. Engine idle is uh, very smooth. Fairly quiet. For a V6 TFSI. I know it's hard to see the uh, headlights and the uh, accent lights and the fog lights in daytime. But I do verify and I confirm that they are working. The fog lights in the rear are the ones closest to the center. The two bright spots here and here. Memory seats, heated mirrors. SD1 and 2. Drive select. Leave it on auto traction control. start to stop. You can start the engine from here or from here. Just to adjust the brightness.
turn off. Well, let's leave it and see. So the level is back and it's okay. Put it back on auto. Please verify that you get three keys with the vehicle. Alright, we're about to take the car for a test drive.